Today is September 17th, 2024. My name is Nicodemus and welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. Today we're diving into two groundbreaking stories that showcase the evolving fusion of nature and technology. First, we'll explore an innovative biohybrid creation, a robot powered by mushrooms, taking robotics to an unprecedented level of natural integration. Then we'll shift to the corporate world, where AI is revolutionizing finance departments at a rapid pace. From biohybrid robots to AI-driven financial solutions, today's episode will take you to the cutting edge of technological transformation. But first, AI regulation. Should it be out with the old, in with the new? Or should we rely on the rules and regulations that are already in place? Artificial intelligence is reshaping the world at an unprecedented pace. But with this transformation comes a growing debate. Should AI be governed by new, AI-specific regulations, or can we rely on the laws already in place? Let's talk about the promises and threats that AI brings, the regulatory landscape shaping its future, and the delicate balance between innovation and oversight. Now, AI has already demonstrated immense potential. By assisting workers, it can enhance productivity and raise real wages. In sectors like retail, healthcare, and education, it helps utilize vast amounts of data to improve outcomes. Yet the risks are equally significant. Deepfakes, privacy violations, unappealable algorithmic decisions, intellectual property theft, and fears of massive job losses. The conversation about regulation is growing louder. OpenAI's recent release of models capable of complex reasoning and calculations only accelerates the need for a framework to control AI's power. The Senate Committee in Australia is about to publish its findings on AI's opportunities and risks, and various proposals are circulating, including AI guardrails for high-risk settings. These would function as checklists to ensure that developers consider safety standards. However, experts argue that most AI applications are already covered by existing regulations, that laws to protect consumers, uphold privacy, and prevent discrimination are already in place. According to competition and consumer protection specialists, it might be wiser to adapt the existing laws rather than creating entirely new ones focused solely on AI. Australia's well-established regulators, such as the Competition and Consumer Commission, the Australian Information Commissioner, and others, already have the tools to handle AI-related issues. The question remains, is this enough? Proponents of using existing regulations point out that AI, while transformative, doesn't necessarily require an overhaul of legal frameworks. For instance, laws against deceptive business practices already apply to AI-driven scams. Anti-discrimination laws already apply to biased algorithms. Instead of layering on new, potentially stifling regulations, governments could focus on improving the laws that we already have and empowering regulatory bodies to test AI applications under current standards. This approach would provide stability for businesses and clarity for consumers. It would also prevent innovation from being stifled by overly restrictive AI-specific regulations. For example, applying rigid rules on AI in sectors with little risk would create unnecessary hurdles without adding much protection. However, it is clear that some situations may demand specialized oversight. For instance, industries such as healthcare, autonomous vehicles, and even financial markets require regulations to account for AI's unique capabilities and risks. And as we've seen with nuclear technology, international cooperation is critical to ensure that AI doesn't fall into the wrong hands. The specialized chips that are required to train advanced AI models are produced by only a few countries, and controlling their distribution could help prevent dangerous uses of AI. This strategy mirrors the global governance of nuclear power. Now, advanced artificial intelligence is poised to deliver unprecedented benefits, but with these benefits come serious risks. The key to unlocking AI's full potential lies in finding the right balance between regulation and innovation. Whether through existing laws or new frameworks, The goal must be to govern AI wisely, fostering its development while ensuring that it doesn't become a tool for harm. As the debate unfolds, one thing is for certain. AI will shape the future, but it's up to us to shape AI. Now, think about a future where robots are not just machines, but living organisms powered by the natural signals from fungi. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, surprise, it is now science fact. Engineers from Cornell University and the University of Florence have created a groundbreaking biohybrid robot that is controlled by the electrical impulses of living mushrooms, something I never thought I'd ever say. This advancement could revolutionize how robots interact with the world around them. At the core of this innovation is the king trumpet mushroom, whose natural electrical signals allow the robot to move and sense its environment. By integrating these living organisms into the robot's electronic system, the researchers have taken a step towards creating robots that adapt and respond to real-world stimuli in ways that traditional machines simply cannot. 
but it still sounds like comic book science fiction to me. Now, Anand Mishra is a research associate from Cornell's Organic Robotics Lab, and he highlighted the potential of this biohybrid system, noting, quote, living systems respond to touch, light, heat, and even some unknowns. This means that in unpredictable environments, we can leverage these living systems for future robots. In a video demonstration, one of the robots, powered by the mushroom mycelium, slowly makes its way across the surface, pumping its robotic legs in response to ultraviolet light. Another version was built on wheels. It exhibits similar capabilities, but with different inputs, demonstrating the versatility of this approach. Rob Shepard is a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at Cornell. He added that this technology could be used in agriculture to monitor soil chemistry. For example, a mushroom-powered robot could detect when crops need fertilizer and respond in real time, reducing harmful side effects like algae blooms. The study was published in Science Robotics, and it signals the dawn of a new era in hybrid robotics. These mushroom-powered robots aren't just an isolated experiment. Similar biohybrid systems have been developed in recent years, such as a Lego robot controlled by an artificial worm brain and MIT's integration of living muscle onto robots. These precedents highlight the growing trend towards blending biological and mechanical components. What makes this innovation particularly noteworthy is the potential for real-world applications. The adaptability of mushrooms to different environments allows these robots to operate in conditions where traditional machines might fail. Whether it's navigating through rough terrain or responding to chemical changes in soil, these robots demonstrate a level of flexibility that could be game-changing for industries like agriculture, environmental monitoring, and even disaster response. Moreover, the ability to use biological signals rather than programmed instructions introduces a form of natural intelligence in robotics. While AI systems have made strides in replicating decision-making processes, integrating living organisms into robots could bring an entirely new dimension to problem-solving, especially in environments that are constantly changing. The funding behind this research was supported by the National Science Foundation's CROPS grant and Cornell's Engineered Living Materials Institute. This speaks to the broader interest in hybrid systems. This isn't just an academic experiment. It's a well-supported project with far-reaching implications. As we look ahead, the fusion of biology and robotics might define what machines are capable of. Robots controlled by living fungi, like the ones developed at Cornell, represent a future where technology doesn't just mimic life, it works hand in hand with it. This biohybrid revolution is just beginning, and the possibilities are as vast as the natural world itself. The rapid rise of artificial intelligence in the business world continues to shake up industries, but one sector was notably lagging behind, corporate finance. That, however, is changing fast. In just a year, finance teams have nearly closed the gap, significantly increasing their AI adoption. Now, what's driving this surge, and how might it shape the future of corporate finance? According to Gartner's latest survey of 121 finance leaders across industries, 58% of corporate finance teams are now using AI. That's a significant jump from 2023, one that marks a 21% increase in AI adoption within a single year, showing a clear shift in attitude towards AI's role in finance. And what's more, nearly half of the remaining 42% of finance teams are not yet using AI are already planning to implement it soon. Just last year, other departments like human resources and legal were adopting AI solutions at double the rate of finance departments. Now that gap has nearly disappeared. The AI's potential for growth is undeniable, and KPMG's survey highlights that nearly half of businesses view AI as a top enabler of growth, with 72% seeing more opportunities than challenges in adopting AI in the medium term. Finance departments are quickly catching up to capitalize on these opportunities. Big tech companies are responding to this rising demand. Microsoft has introduced tools like Copilot for finance. That's their virtual assistant that's designed to streamline financial processes. DataRails is a company serving small business CFOs. They recently launched upgrades to their AI-powered financial planning and analysis platform. The platform is designed to predict issues before they become problems. With finance leaders growing more optimistic about AI's potential, many are looking to solutions that can automate tasks like anomaly detection and intelligence process automation. But why has finance been slower to adopt AI compared to other departments? One reason could be the traditionally conservative nature of finance, where risks are carefully weighed and decisions are driven by accuracy and compliance. As AI technology has matured, however, its practical applications in finance have become clearer. Solutions that can automate processes, detect errors, and even predict future financial challenges have become more accessible. Off-the-shelf AI tools are now widely available, and that availability makes it easier for finance teams to implement AI without the need for extensive customization. The stakes are high, though. While AI promises improved efficiency and cost savings, 
not all AI projects deliver the anticipated results. Studies show that many AI projects fall short of their expected business value, with only 31% of the revenue lift being realized. Gartner has warned that generative AI, for example, may soon enter a phase of disillusionment as companies find it harder to achieve the breakthroughs that they initially hoped for. This raises the question, how can finance leaders ensure that their AI investments pay off? One key factor is sustainability. AI projects must not only solve immediate problems, but also adapt to changing business conditions over time. For finance teams, this means looking for AI solutions that can scale and evolve as the organization grows. Another consideration is the financial impact of AI. Beyond short-term games, companies must evaluate the long-term financial benefits of AI, ensuring that these technologies improve the bottom line and help the organization run more efficiently. AI is no longer just a tech buzzword. It's becoming an essential tool for corporate finance teams looking to stay competitive. As finance departments embrace AI to streamline operations, predict challenges, and automate repetitive tasks, they're not only catching up with other departments, but positioning themselves as key drivers of business growth. The road ahead, however, demands careful planning, sustainable solutions, and a focus on long-term value. For finance leaders, the question is no longer whether to adopt AI, but how to do it in a way that delivers lasting impact. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. As we wrap things up, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you never miss an update. We'll see you next time.